Hey everyone, it's me, Rylan, and I'm back. So today is Saturday, February 8th, 2020. Oh, Dios mio. Uh, and it is 3.58 p.m. Uh, so this is my first video of 2020. Um, first video in kind of a long time. Uh, and that's just like simply I'll say why there really isn't a reason why because it's interesting I have more subscribers now uh, that I like kind of have stopped posting videos than I did when I was posting frequently but that's okay life happens um but basically uh, kind of a mantra of the whole reason that I've had a YouTube channel over the past five years is I make videos when I feel that I have something um, important sounds self-righteous but uh, when I feel that I have something um, important that I would like to share that I believe is going to spread knowledge and awareness or um, yeah just inform people about stuff uh, or talk about my mental health um, I've been doing a lot of that over the past couple of years where I've just talked about struggles with the different mental illnesses that I have um, but I've just decided to, I haven't really had anything to say, I guess, because I mean, there's definitely stuff going on in my life, but I don't really feel the need to talk about it. So that's what's up. That's why I haven't made a video in a little bit, but I did not disappear. I am still here. I'm still queer. Um, and I'm making a video today because I have something that I would really like to talk about slash not, not necessarily debunk, but I just, let's talk about it. So, what, hello Apple Watch, telling me that it's now four o'clock. Um, <laughs> so, I want to talk about the differences between self-care and self-soothing. Don't know why I did that. Anyway, so, these are two things, mostly self-care, that is really a part of culture these days. Um, it is just the hashtag of life. You go on, um, I'm not on Facebook anymore, I use Instagram, um, but it is mostly Instagram where you see uh, hashtag self care with a beautiful picture of like a Starbucks Frappuccino or um, maybe uh, legs in a bathtub, you know, also with the hashtag bath bomb or, um, pizza or something like that. We all know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's, I don't know. It's just nuts to me. It's really become like internet culture to hashtag self-care. When in reality, there is a huge difference and a misconception of what self-care is, what it actually is, and self-soothing. So Actually, all of those posts, all of those activities that we're doing, those are considered self-soothing. So self-soothing is that. It is taking a bath. It is having an expensive drink from Starbucks. If you can do that, live your best life. I can't afford that, but cool. Um, so it's drinking those things. It is binge watching your favorite shows. It's watching all of The Office, which I'm really sad is leaving in 2021 so I'm like trying to watch it all again but that's something that I find extremely comforting to me um, so as you can see these these are all things that are soothing eating all of your favorite comfort foods your mac and cheese maybe it is uh, getting all cuddly with a stuffed animal um, or even sometimes taking a nap can be considered self-soothing if you kind of just need to like relax. But the thing is, is that is not self-care. Self-soothing in short is just distraction. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that is the huge misconception is that self-soothing uh, techniques, which is being called self-care, um, those don't solve your problem. So if we look at the example of maybe you are having some conflict with maybe your partner. So maybe your partner, a coworker, your boss, your friend, a family member, whoever. Say you're having problems with them. 
you can do self-soothing things such as watch your favorite TV show or maybe eat um, some lasagna because it makes you feel really good or take a hot shower with some beautiful lavender body wash. Those are all really great things, but when you're done eating your mac and cheese, when you hop out of the shower, is that conflict going to be resolved with your partner? No, it's not. Um, because they're temporary. They're temporary things. So, again, I am not knocking self-soothing. I am making this video to explain that there is a difference. So self-care is the bigger act of how do we solve problems to really essentially kind of nourish our lives. Self-soothing is how we get through those difficult times in our lives is, okay, there's a stressor in my life. How do I deal with it? I'm going to cope with it by X, Y, Z. It's a coping mechanism. But self-care is... That can look like a lot of things. Um, most common example might be going to therapy. Um, exercising can be a form of self-care because it's, it's taking care of your body and your mind and that goes hand in hand with eating healthfully, nourishing your body and giving it everything it needs. Um, Meditating is extremely important. That is a great self-care act because you see these are all long-term things. Going to therapy once a week or every other week, meditating daily, um, eating, eating healthy foods. Um, all of these things are basically what's going to get you on the right track to um, help assist you in the issues that you're facing. I don't want to say solve your problems, but what is going to keep you grounded um, in the big picture? And those are the big picture ideas. That is the commitment of going to therapy. That is the commitment of meditating, of doing yoga, of getting your body going and doing some type of exercise. Um, that's what's important. And I just... I don't want to say I think it's sad, but I just, I wish there was more knowledge, which is why I'm making this, this video of there is such a big difference between self-care and self-soothing. They are both vitally important. They go hand in hand because sometimes problems are so big that we don't have the capacity to do self-care right away that we need to have our distractions we we need to take a nice nap in our favorite jammies and cuddle up or maybe cuddle up to your dog or your cat or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whoever your partner is those are all really great things but the bottom line is my friends is let's not get it twisted anymore let's not be hashtagging self-care um, with a picture of you and your beautiful legs in the bathtub with your bath bombs. That's awesome. That's relaxing and I bet it smells good as shit in your bathroom. But the big question that you have to ask yourself is when you're done doing an activity, is the problem solved? Because if not, then you're self-soothing, which is just distraction. So I hope this clears some things up. Um, obviously, there's a crap ton of stuff about there about self-soothing activities. I think we can all name like five of them ourselves, but it's important to look into self-care. Self-care even looks like just setting boundaries with people and being able to say no to things. That's an important act of self-care. I find that that's difficult for me to be able to say no to things, maybe commitments that I'm not interested in, um, going to an event that I'm not interested in. I have a hard time saying no to things, but it is a radical act of self-care to be able to put up boundaries with people and be able to simply say no. I don't want to do this. I'm not comfortable. I'm not going. Um, and setting boundaries with people in your life. 
They're all really important things that you really have to look at the bigger picture of what is going to help you move forward in your life so that you can grow and evolve into the wonderful person that you are meant to be. Quick fixes are fantastic. They are needed. Look at me, like I have this delicious smelling lotion next to my bed because not only do I have dry AF hands, but also rubbing my hands together and smelling the lavender is extremely calming to me. But besides my lotion and having my lovey dovey stuffed animal Roman, I also go to therapy twice a week. And I've started to get into meditation and I write, I get my feelings out. So I just wanted to make this video and, you know, inform you that the two are different and then maybe put some sparks into your brain of are you really giving yourself self-care or are you self-soothing? And if you are doing a lot of self-soothing, how can you start to implement more solid self-care? Um, and as I was saying before, we can all name like a bunch of self-soothing stuff, but maybe give a Google of what self-care is um, and find different ways that you can um, find more permanent solutions to the struggles that all of all of our lives bring. Whether or not you struggle with mental health problems or not, we all have stressors. Um, but especially if you have mental health problems, um, it is important to find things that are more concrete that can even include medication if that's the route that you decide to do. So I hope this video helped. Um, I hope it was informative and beyond that, I wish you all the best. I wish everyone in this new year love, light and healing and, um, you know, life is difficult for a lot of us. I know that I'm struggling with a lot of things and I am trying my best to just stay hopeful and stay grounded in the moment and use all of the tools that I have that I've learned through therapy and past experiences to just keep on trucking through. So I invite you to do the same because life is worth living and things can get easier. Um, it's just all about finding important tools and unfortunately that isn't always eating McDonald's french fries. We gotta work to find more permanent solutions to deal with our problems. So have an amazing day. Thank you for watching my video and hopefully it won't be too long before I upload another one. But until then, 